so this is actually on our very first tower we built in my parents backyard in 1999 2000 area and it's a Roan 25 uh, today we obviously we, we put up Roan 55s or 45s anything bigger than the 25 but this is a 165 foot Roan 25 tower it's our first tower that we put up and uh it's you know transitioned from ubiquity to back in the day to now cambium epmp and uh, has some uh, 450s on there as well 365. so uh, we don't put anything up that's over a negative 65. Um, then we have to make sure our quality and capacity are there to, to make sure we're getting our speeds that we want so every every single install we do we test from the roof before we, we do anything um, and then we have to maintain that. Our, our team here in the office will maintain to make sure nobody's signals are getting higher and then we'll schedule a service call. If not, hardest, hardest thing to do is uh, firing a customer. Sometimes you have to do it or sometimes you're going to put up more height or whatever you need to do to maintain that the stability on that access point. In that case, they have to call in to our NetOps team, uh, see if there's something that we're, we're causing, something that's strange. Or do we need a higher gain antenna? Do we need to make sure we get a lower signal? Um, you know, that, that negative 65, it's, it's a general rule, but if you're half a mile from the tower and you're getting a negative 65 through trees, that's not the same as a negative 65 with clear line of sight at three miles. So, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things you, you can train for best practices, but it's a lot of, a lot of things that you're going to have to put hands on. Okay. This is what I'm looking at. What do we do here? Actually, our most popular plan is the 20 uh, plan. Yeah, it is um, the most sold package and the most used package. So we do 10, 20, 30, 50, and 100 meg plans. Now on this specific access point, it's in 20 megahertz channel, so we can't do the 50 or 100. So we're up to 30 megs. Um, we do have in the in the outer areas that we serve and areas that we can that we can get 40 megahertz channels, we offer those 100 meg packages. Uh, pre seam will show our average customer use is not you know 100 megs. It's, that's actually an interesting question. Uh, so right outside, our, we're, we're based in Stillwater, Oklahoma, where Oklahoma State University is, large campus. Right outside of Stillwater um, is the heaviest usage, right in the suburbs, outside of town, right right outside the cable and fiber ranges. Um, the further you go out into the farmlands, the less usage that happens. Um, and that's and that we, we get all the way down to Oklahoma City. And so right outside Oklahoma City suburbs, that is just like Stillwater. It's heavy, heavy usage. And then as soon as you get back into the farmlands, that direction as well. So we, we, we cover about 5,600 square miles. So it's really interesting to see the usage depending on where people are. Um, but if they're right outside the city, it seems like it's a heavier usage than those that are, that are based in rural areas. So what we're looking at doing, uh, we've, we've um, obviously registered into the CBRS and using the 450 um, platform to offload those that want the 1,500 meg packages. And so we've been doing that um, slowly. But uh, that's, those are just the ones that want to get get those higher rates out. And so uh, we, we would love to see um, that 5.9 spectrum stay available and so that we can get more 40 megahertz access channels out. And the more we get over to 3.65, we'll open up 5 gigahertz off other towers. So eventually we'll free up some of our own self-interference to be able to get 40 megahertz channels more places. Mm -hmm.